It's about uh, one hour, 10 minutes into today's trade. Now, heading straight to the capital market. The market has crossed 52,000 reading at the moment. It's good news. But let's quickly take a look at what's, what happened or what went down in the capital market at the close of trading on Tuesday. Nigerian stock market re retracts to close negative at the end of Tuesday's session. Uh, looking at the all share index, uh, declining by 0.19% to close at 51,805.41 basis point against the 1.9% uh, gain recorded the previous trading section. In nine attempts, the NGX market capitalization recorded about 52.35 billion uh, Naira laws at the close of Tuesday. The total volume traded declined by 1.79% to close at 337.5 million. Uh, valued at 5.5 billion at the trade at the close of trade in about 7,000 deals. Um, GT Company uh, was the most traded stock by volume with 51.96 million units of shares traded. Why uh, GT Co uh, was the uh, most traded stock by value with about 1.23 billion naira. Sectoral performances in terms of the sector. Uh, uh, was broadly positive as eight of NGX sector indices closed northward, uh, six closed southward, while about four closed flat at the close of uh, uh, tradings on Tuesday. The NGS insurance index stopped with about 2.14% uh, gain at the close of uh, all, all the closing yesterday, talking about market uh, breadth, about 33 gainers against 13 losers at the close of yesterday. Were against 55 stock on change. Okomo are uh, still in the news, topping the list of gainers as uh, Naco topped the list of losers. But let's quickly take a look at the market yesterday now. Yes, of course, today has crossed the 52,000 uh, readings, doing about over 1% already. Ms. Ambrose Amodian, Chief Research Officer in Vezeta Consulting Limited, is here with me to look at the market yesterday, just before we get into yesterday's market. You've seen the impressive uh, rally already. Uh, I would say perhaps... Would you say it's too early? Uh, <laughs> this market, <laughs> the jump it, alone, no. be just in one hour of market, less than one hour, just about less than one hour. That, that at eight minutes, just okay, uh, <laughs> doing more than one percent already. Uh, so, how do you react? No, it's expected. Now, I said it yesterday that uh, the pullback we saw yesterday was as a result of a uh, profit taking in the high cap uh, stock, especially when MTN you no know, you no know, decline marginally. No, the life of uh, Nigeria Brewery, right. so no Zenith Bank. No, these are just uh, stock that pull back the market. If you look at the market breadth, as you just said, it was a positive one, and uh, we saw buying volume about almost 71% uh, buying volume and 29% uh, sell volume. It tells you that the buyers are still in charge in the market as yesterday. This morning, I'm not surprised that seeing that same MTN that lost yesterday gain on more than what they lost yesterday now, between around the 60, 69, as we speak now, yesterday closed at the uh, no, 40 to 240 yesterday for me. It's a good one. This is what expected that now that today at a um at a you know result has hit the market, so it will be another push for the market. When I say that today, expecting the ETL result to come that it will change the face of the market. You know, if you look at the price of ETA and that of MTN, these are the two stores that are really pushing the market. We see that as we speak now, Dangote Smith is relaxing, Boa Smith is relaxing. The two telecom companies are the one pushing the market up now, which is good for the market. It tells you where investors should look at. I said tell you that these are the sectors that are impacting positively on the GDP. Of Nigeria to speak now. I was expecting that our Q1 GDP will be positive and also you know, the inflation figure that we're expecting. Don't forget that for the last um, you know, five months we have seen inflation on the uptick. And who believe that for this month of April, once inflation co crossed 16%, yes, that will also put more pressure on those in fixed income market. And don't forget that in this country, when you know, the inflation is as high as 18 right. points, you know, we still have our, you know, our interest rate remain around 11.5. Don't forget that you know the this benchmark we're having about 11.5 was done around September 2020. The date was still leaving it flat. The date it tells you that this is what has supported the economy. But I believe that in the next NPC meeting, you know, you know, the CBN or his team are not you know, mm. giving us any signal they're going to adjust it. If that is also retained, then until we cross over to second half, where we expect this, uh, like I just said, these uh, regional activities, these right. uh, political activities coming up, that funds will enter the economy in terms of liquidity, they might decide to be what a hike in the second half of the I'm year. But I believe that mm. what the market is doing now, 
any designer investor know that these are the times to position in good stock, but don't be don't be greedy. Once you make the profit, I know you always say don't be greedy. I mean, um, every investor, uh, I mean, invest. They want to come into the market because yes. they want to they want to make profit. And uh, so, how do you differentiate between being greedy and, of course, uh, the 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 target, which is the profit, of course. Here. A market where you have more traders than investors because a market is dominated by traders because you want to make 15%, 20% and go out to their position. The error of making 100%, yes, there are some stocks are giving us 100%, but there are very few. But for you to protect your capital and manage your flow very well, don't right. be greedy. Once you enter, that is why you need to up your game in technical analysis. You know exactly when the sentiment or the buying strength is weak, then you cannot jump out. There are some stocks that will take you off, the same stock will bring you down because I say that when the party is on board, is dancing, right. when the party is, go, is, is off, or the, the, the music is off. You want to go out, the door will be very you non know, comfortable for to pass. That is why, as a good trader, you don't wait until when everyone is leaving their own position before you start taking. That's why you must set your target when you are entering. Use your stop loss, have your entry mm -hmm. and exit strategy. That is the best to go. Like this morning, I, I know most of the you know, investors are smiling, but there are a few stocks that are going up. And the good thing that as they are going up, they are dragging some stock. You can see that the healthcare industry is going more attractive now. We saw the life of uh, me and Baker gaining 10% yesterday. We saw the life of um, you know, GSK. We also see you know, fixing for almost uh, two weeks on the mm -hmm. uptrend. Now we're seeing that sector. That means investors are becoming more designed in terms of decision. Where we should go, where we should not go. That is why I said, you know, if the, the MPC meeting, you know, if they leave uh, inflation, uh, what's it called, um, NPR 11.5, you see this market will still hit it will not go 55,000 mark before the end of the month. Mm. I mean, I'm just wondering though, uh, looking at um, uh, the, the market which has gone up, uh, crossing 52,000 uh, mark now, uh, I mean, there's this general notion that once the market is rising, of course, one has to be cautious exactly. to ensure uh, that he doesn't uh, burn his fingers. Exactly. Um, do we expect uh, a pullback soon or how long do we expect this trend to continue before a pullback happens? For me, I'll say pullback is already on that way because mm. this, is the, this is the second month of the second quarter of because the year. Because I expected that uh, the, the, the losses we experienced yesterday, the pullback we experienced yesterday, uh, perhaps may continue for no, a long no, no, time. No. But I, now we're seeing the market. No. I, said you know, the, I said yesterday that it will continue because we saw that we have about no, 36 gainers yesterday and just 13 losers yesterday. And we saw the life of MTN and Guinness um, and Nigeria Brewery and Zenith Bank on the loser start. That the one that put the market. If you look at we have more mm. no position taking. That's why I said when I said that the buy position or buy volume as I said, it was 71 percent, while selling position was around 29 percent. It says that we have buyers in control or buyer in charge of the market. I said once uh, a tell result hit the market, it will pay dividend. And Ete has much as year end. We're going to see other now that Ete has opened a kind of um, you know the match year account full year result. Right. Now we'll see others following the life of uh, you know Flower Mill, life of Honeywell, University Press, Academic Press, and others. You no, know, what's it called? Uh, Resta. All of them resume their result mm. between now and end of June. Right. That was also going to impact the market, depending on what they are paying. But we have seen that results that came from the December account were positive. We expect that the March account also should maintain that trend. That was also going to influence the market. For me, mm. investors should not be carried away with the you know, The question I'm asking is how long do we expect this bullish run? I said you that know, to I, continue I, before we, we, we experience it. I said that the cor 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 correction is underway. Okay. It's underway. I mean, right. that it can happen in this moment because. Once you are making you no know, good profit, you have seen to a target, nothing mm. stops you for taking. And when you are selling, but the good thing is that we are seeing that the global market is you no know, still struggling. Why our uh, you know our market is making trend, and that is why I say people that most factors that influence you know our market, yes, is this crude oil price at the same mm. time foreign uh, foreign portfolio position in our market. But because we have less of you know foreign portfolio in the market. It's the plus for the market. That is why as market is directing these local, you know, social investors, you know, fund managers and retail investors are the one moving the market. If you had to before, like as, as the market is making now, what is happening right. in advanced market would have also you know reflect the market selling now. But because they have less portion of the market and we have you know our people here, being pre election year, we're not seeing the impact yet. But once we enter the second half of the year, saying that the outcome of all this uh, primary, you know, the presidential primary uh, election, all those stuff, will give investors inside where the, com the economy is going, or the, com uh, the country is going in terms of uh, the ele uh, election. That will also influence the market. But I believe for now, this trend will continue. But a wise investor, a wise trader should know that 
take profit as at when you don't be carried away once you meet your target that is time to say mm. let's look at some of the um gainers for yesterday if you look at uh, multiverses in that category uh coming in the second place is may and baker you have uh, okomoyo and champion and then of course you have uh, uh others uh, other stock there uh with for como oil i mean i just want to ask um what is driving this uh, particular rally we're, we're witnessing in this talk? Doing about 17 naira in a day, more than, uh, I mean, I mean, you can't do more than 10%, if not, would have recorded, <laughs> <laughs> would have recorded more than 10%. Yeah, seven, seven, 17 naira uh, <laughs> I mean, is, is on the high side. On I mean, it's impressive in no, a day. You know, it, so, it tells you that there is high demand for the stock. It's just like simple you know, economies, demand and supply. When there's demand for a stock, and there's less of price, price are bound to go up. And the shareholding structure of this company is tight, and they have less you know, share in issue, just you know, below 1 billion share in issue, around 900 and something million shares, not up to 1 billion. For me, that is why they, you know, they are seeing this revolution. Also, the same thing applied to Presco. For me, if you are seeing Okomo around the, you know, 187, and Presco have not released the result, have not released a, 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 a Q1, and yeah. there's already a notification that they're likely to give a bonus share. For me, that price also, that is why when Presco was doing them, um, uh, 178 Okomo was at 170. The next day, Okomo does over, you know, override the uh, mm -hmm. press code. That means that trend is there because there is something driving their earnings. I will tell you, the earnings we are seeing from this sector this is the, f the best and the first in the history of the market. Mm. Well, now let's look at other small uh, cap uh, stock uh, like Multiverse doing about uh, two percent or ten percent yesterday. That's about two two kobo at the close of uh, Tuesday. You have me and Baker with. Uh, um just about four naira 84 kobo in one day i beg your pardon 44 kobo in one day and closing at four naira 84 kobo um representing 10 percent uh, you also have champion the uh, shares of champions also went up by about 36 kobo as well give us a bit a, uh, a bit of uh, analysis of some of these stocks i mean what is going for them what is supporting what support level do, do they enjoy okay. and why do you think investors are holding still holding their position in some of this no, as i said earlier that um, for the healthcare sector yeah. you no know, this is time investor take position and also there's one thing investors should understand in equity investment each stock has different characteristics and they move at different time when yeah. uh, 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 stock is moving up don't expect b will follow immediately they have their own time right. that means if you have that at the back of your mind as an investor know that each stock will respond as that when you okay i told them one of the meeting that yes about two days ago or three days ago we saw nigeria government and cuba government signing a um, you know agreement on right. go, to go into vaccine production and you look at your, ask yourself food company in nigeria has the capacity in that healthcare sector that can go into vaccine production one is me and baker two is fixing then, but whatever that is going to happen in that industry will influence facing price, mm -hmm. me and Baker, GSK, Nimet, Famadeco, and others that are related in that industry. For me, once that has happened, I will tell you, any moment, any moment from now, since the agreement that we signed, you can see production coming. And we don't know where it's going to start. going to start from fixing, we're going to start from me and Baker. For an investor in that, you know, you should design that where you should, you know, every investment is against expectation. Now that you have this news, start positioning ahead. But when they are, this thing is happening, it's going to infl you know, influence their numbers, impact their number positively because it's not going to be only up a Nigeria market for the vaccine. It's going to be for Africa. For me, I think that is why we're seeing kind of shift into that uh, you know, sector now because I, and I also don't forget that, yes, COVID-19 has subsided for, to speak now, but I think we need to also look inward and see that let's have the capacity to produce all these things within Nigeria so that our ministers, our government officers will stop going to abroad. If we can do all these things here, don't need them the traveling for this. That means mm. we don't put all of them here in Nigeria. That, that means our efforts also will, will cause that for, for, for traveling abroad for treatment. For me, it's a good one for this sector. And I believe that that's also going to impact going forward into their uh, activities in 2022 right. financial year. For the life of um, you know, uh, the champion brewery, we can see that all the brewery companies in the last uh, Q1 number and in 2021 will see improved performance because of post mm -hmm. uh, COVID-19 uh, lockdown has been suspended, people are not going out for their party and all those stuff. And see that its consumption has increased. That's also reflecting on the brewery uh, activities. But that's why they are going up. Mm. Let's look at the uh, NACO, um, the flip side now. NACO topped the uh, uh, chart yesterday in terms of those stocks that lost. You have NACO losing about uh, 28 Kobo in one day to close at 6 Nara 51 Kobo at the, at the close of Tuesday. You have mutual benefit uh, also losing about one Kobo. Weimar Bank is in that category. Yes, MTN, even though they are doing well, of course, is back in the, <laughs> in, in, the, the red. in the red in the yesterday. Red. But I, I want us to chart 
a course or perhaps give us a chart for NACO, uh, uh, Nigeria Aviation Handling Company. Uh, do you think that they are also feeling the heat in what is going on in the aviation industry, looking at the AJT one that is so expensive, operators can't even have access to it because they have to pay high for them to even fly or to start operating. What do you think is responsible for no, this decline? We're no, the this? decline we are seeing in uh, NACO is not in regard to that. It's just a uh, market sentiment and profit taking. This is a company that announced a uh, 41 Kobo dividend and one for five bonus move from as low as three naira to almost seven naira. Naturally, you are starting to see profit taking. That means from three naira to seven naira is more than 100 percent. People are selling to take profit. For me, there is nothing wrong with that. Like what you just said, uh, the the um, aviation fuel thing won't affect them more because. Even if uh, the government and the NMPC have agreed to give the industry for the next three months for uh, that means even the acute to show but that means there will be activities in the in the port. Okay. Uh, there will be people know in the airport. For me, it won't affect them much. Or less when there is total grand like if the, the proposed uh, strike you know went, went on and the the is where I say to affect for now, it won't affect them. But what is seeing that uh, position as we speak now is a profit taking activities. Like what I just said that what happened in MTN yesterday, it's a profit taking that pull MTN down, which you can okay. see in the in the in the market ocean in this year that we saw a kind of uh, no, a pullback, but this, the good thing is that we are seeing a resistance in that pullback after market has lost about almost uh, no 0 0.4 in the afternoon. We can close at 0 0.19. Tell that there was a kind of a buy interest again that pushed the market up. For me, it's a good one. MTN, I know that that yesterday was just profit taking activity. This morning, and the stock have rebound already, you know, going up. You can see this sign, but this sign here is a sign of uh, a pullback. But what we are seeing this morning, you can see that it has reversed already, which I wrote in one of my articles this morning that market is likely to rebound because what we're expecting a, a third result. And the result that came was a fantastic number. I told you that this sector, the, uh, the telecom, is a good sector for to put their money because a lot of factors is impacting their, their cash flow, which also reflected in that number, just as it did in the uh, no, uh, MTN number for me, it's a good set. So that you see the market is already up because when Ether was to gain this morning, tell me where the market is going. Already, MTN is going, market has crossed the uh, 52,000 mark. Tells you that we're already you know, approaching uh, the, the peak of the market in 2008. For me, it's a good one for the market because we have seen new companies listed on the exchange. We have seen the ones that are listed performing well. The old ones there have sustained growth uh, payout. That also supported the market to come back to this level. For me, it's a good one. Like I just said earlier, have your what? Your stop loss. No, take away emotion from your investment decision. Don't be carried away with the market galloping. Take your profit as I going to do. Mm -hmm. That is what all investors should do at this time. Don't say because the market is galloping, let me just be smiling in my room. The way you are smiling, the day you open your eyes, market is on the downturn. That is why as it's going up now, it's time to sell into an up market and buy into a down market. I want us to look at one final stock before we leave. Okay. Uh, the Regency um, uh, Alliance Insurance, they're okay. losing about one couple yesterday. Yes, I know that um, they, there's not been quite a lot of activity in the insurance sector. Yes, even though we've seen a bit of, um, I mean, yesterday we, we saw that, of course, the sector uh, did very well with about 2.14%. But yes, some of these stock listed on that particular segment of the market uh, not doing well at all with about 0.1% or about 3.33% decline for the shares of uh, Regency Assurance, in, I mean, uh, Alliance Insurance. Uh, so what do you suppose uh, investors do regarding this? I, I would say if you look at the chart for Regency, as we speak, I'll mm -hmm. tell you that stock is no, it's not looking good technically. If you look at the chart here, you can see that it's selling below the T-line. It tells that the stock is weak until the stock break out here and come up there above the T-line. It tells that the stock is, for now, you can see that it's, you know, for more, more than uh, six trading days, it has been on the decline. Tell you that you know, the market is not favoring the stock for now. This on a daily chart, uh, for me, it's okay. Let's invest all weight on the crossover. You know, you know as you just said, you know, there's expectation in that uh, sector, but we have not seen reflecting on the number, on the prices of this equity in that industry. But I believe that once they, they conclude their capitalization and also reform that is going on in that industry, mm -hmm. it's going to impact a lot. But as we speak now, Regency is not looking good for investors that want to trade the stock or traders should just exercise patience until they cross back the T line before we can. Uh, Start buying. Well, let's quickly let me just check on a weekly chart what has happened that stuff for a weekly right. chart. We've not done a daily chart. Even on the daily and weekly chart, it's not looking good at all. Investors should keep away from this stock as we speak now. Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, what are your most uh, three sectors to watch for the day? Yeah, I really I would say after with the telecoms, so it's always been my sector. <laughs> because uh, you have the Airtel, <laughs> Airtel the heavyweight uh, yeah. uh, telecom, uh, telecom you know, and the, uh, the company they 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 don't sell goods and the. Uh, the construction, then we add the uh, healthcare, 
you can see that SK is, is coming up now. These are the sectors you look at this morning. But I expect that the banking will rebound, especially when we cross over to the second half of the year and there is hike in, you know, in interest rate. That's where I see the bank also taking. But for now, the bank is sleeping. Well, I mean, <laughs> the bank is sleeping, but they are making money. Yeah, if you look at it, I mean, it's they, not reflecting They, they can are. always make money 24 I, hours. I, I agree with you. They are, I agree with you, but the numbers are not reflecting it now, you know, on okay. their prices. I mean, it, it's okay. Uh, perhaps we'll have to, it, that's another discussion for another day. No, no, no problem. On this note, I want to thank you for coming on the program, Mr. Ambrose, more than Chief Research Officer, Investigative Consultant Limited. Thank yeah. you for coming. Thanks for having me.